Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is a quick method of building up a face. We're going to touch on a few tools you may not have seen before. Um, this is an empty Blender file. I had a couple of other things built in here, but I hid them. Um, starting off in object mode, I'm going to add a mesh. And I'm going to go with a UV circle. Okay, I'll move it downward kind of toward the world center. Okay, And then I think what I want to do is go to edit mode so that I can select everything and tell it to subdivide. That's just going to give me a few extra um, vertices, points, and faces, and edges so that when I, when I start to sculpt, um, it won't look quite as blocky. Now, when you're sculpting, we're going to go up to the top corner and change from edit mode to sculpt mode. Just the simple draw tool will get us pretty far with this. Um, one thing you'll notice is when we're sculpting, unlike in Sculptress, this is not automatically mirroring what we did. I'm going to press undo and then I'm going to go up to here. You see this little butterfly icon? That is where we can get um, symmetry. Okay, so depending on the axis, I think this will allow me to do Y axis mirroring. Yes, so that will work much more like sculptures. For some of you, if you're looking at it this way, uh, you may need to be on Z axis. That's going top and bottom. Okay, and then let me undo Z and then hit X. Yeah, so if you were building your face on this side, you would choose X. But I'm gonna just hit my center mouse button and spin around. I'll work with Y for right now since I'm kind of pointing this way. So I'm gonna just build up kind of a nose and nostrils. I'm gonna use my bracket keys, just like in Photoshop, to kind of increase the brush size. Then I'm gonna build that up. I'm gonna build out a little chin area here, okay? Build up the top of the head and the back of the head, round it out. Just kind of painting, it's a little lumpy. Give it a little hit down the center. Maybe use a really big brush, kind of bulks it out. All right, big brains, like uh, obviously we're gonna have to do a little bit of reshaping on that. But I wanna kind of pop everything outward and make it larger. Okay, um, go ahead and sculpt, spin my view. Press downward a little bit and outward. All right, so we're kind of expanding this whole face all at once. There we go, going to center, center, center. All right, so now I'm gonna use my smaller brush to get in there and start sculpting. So that's just the draw tool. Now I'm changing the radius with keyboard shortcuts. The strength you could modify, but 0.5 is not a terrible idea. Um, other tools, um, uh, draw sharp, layer, inflate. So if I wanted the brows to be a little more um, broad, I could inflate those. Same with the chin. And it just increases the surface of the faces that I'm clicking on. Okay, maybe I wanna do the same thing for the forehead. Okay, I'll inflate the forehead just a touch. Probably should have used a much larger brush. All right, so inflating the head. I'm gonna go down to the smooth tool. Go ahead and hit that a little bit. And that's kind of helping smooth things out in a way that's working a little faster than I might like otherwise, but um, I kind of like the result. It's acting almost like it's pushing in. Um, but I can take that. Okay, so I'm gonna draw out the cheeks a touch. And this again, the symmetry is helping. If you don't have the symmetry activated uh, for whatever reason, and maybe you draw like a nice lip or something along here, um, or you build up the nostril on one side, um, you know, maybe we make an ear over here and we think, boy, we'd really like to have that ear on the other side. As we build it outward with our sculpting tools, you can get the symmetry back on the other side. Uh, let me go ahead and build this out just a touch more. I probably should subdivide this model a little bit more as well. So now my model has become asymmetrical. You can hit the drop down menu here and as long as you know which axis you're working on, whether it's Y, X, or Z, you can tell it to symmetrize, all right? And if I symmetrize this, then it pops out and gives me the exact same thing across the center of the um, object's y-axis. So when you're getting into sculpting, 
that can be pretty useful for you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video here and probably subdivide this model a little more in part two so I can get some more details out of this face because it's starting to look somewhat blocky.